Hey, great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day in the mighty name of Jesus. First of all, I would like to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Uh, and today I want to talk about we all need to be reminded and restored at times. So, Father God, we come to your throne of grace. Thank you just for your grace, God. Thank you just for your mercy. Thank you for your strength right now, God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to increase in us, God. Holy Spirit, increase like never before. Increase your steadfast spirit within us, God. We surrender everything to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your word today, God. We thank you for reminding us that we all need to be restored and we need to be reminded and replenished at times, God. So allow us, Father God, to go to you to be open to be filled up and overflowed with your love and with your word, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wisdom right now, God. We thank you for a great day. It shall be in your mighty and holy name. We thank you, God, for restoration, deliverance. We thank you, God, for your love, for unconditional love, God. We surrender it all to you, God. It all belongs to you, God. Do whatever you want to do with us, God. Everything that we think is ours, God, allow us, Father God, to refocus and know, Father God, that everything belongs to you and you have control over everything and you allow certain things to happen, God, so we can come closer to you, God. Build us up, Lord. Thank you, God, for just being who you are. Thank you for our families, our friends. Thank you for our pastors, our apostles, God, increasing them, God. We know they need replenished and restored at times, God, because they're always pouring out, God. So allow them, God, to go to the to be filled up with you, God. So we thank you right now, God, for increasing them, them God, strengthening them, God, strengthening them, God. Give them the endurance, God, to keep going forward, God, and continue to be transparent, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for them, God. Allow us to pray for our pastors and our leaders and our apostles, God. We thank you every day, Father God, for just being who you are, God. You know, if you does. Don't do anything else, God. You have done enough. Thank you for your protection over us last night. Thank you for your words today. This is our prayer you and son. Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. So, yeah, spending time with God um, is what the Daily Bread talked about today. It says, Jesus often withdrew, withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Luke 5, 16. It says, read Luke 5, 12 through 16. I was talking about how um, Jesus was healing, healing a man with leprosy and stuff like that. And just really talking about how he had to go replenish, how he had to go to a lonely place to be restored, you know. And it says, uh, today it says, Norman and his brother Paul, uh, they had grew up in the, uh, with their father, who was a, uh, a priest, I mean, um, a minister. He was a minister. Every Sunday morning, they would go to his church and... He talked to um, services. So after the first service, they will go to the hills and he would be, you know, restored. Because I can imagine preaching every Sunday and it, to two times that can, you know, take a toll on your body. And sometimes you just have to, you need energy. You have to be replenished and be overflowed so God can continue to, you know, pour into you. It says, it is important to regularly spend time with our Father, who can fill us up again to overflowing. What comes to mind when you think of a lonely place? So make sure you guys, man, find that lonely place to be restored. If you don't have a lonely place, man, you go to your closet, anything, um, to a quiet place just to hear from God. And most of the time, people go to a quiet place and they just go in and go out. Sometimes you have to stay in there, man, and let God just love on you. Sometimes it takes time. And in order to hear from him, you have to continue to uh, allow the Holy Spirit to increase. So give it time. Uh, and it says, when and where can you withdraw to simply spending time with the Father? And this is where I come to spend time with God is in the office. So we all need to be reminded and restored at times. So, um, and it's good to be reminded. This is why it's so important to spend time with the Holy Spirit. Because it will remind you of the things that you have forgotten. The simple things that you have forgotten. And you'll be like, oh God, I got, I got to stop. I got to stop. I'm too busy. I need to spend more time with you. Uh, it just reminds us of what's important. So we thank God for his word today. Make sure you guys read Luke uh, fifth chapter 12 through 16 and
that's all I have for you guys today, man. Um, just be reminded that you need to be restored and refilled with the overflowing power of God. All right, I'm going to go get this other word from our pastors here. I can't wait if you guys want to join us today at 9 a.m. at Breakthrough Worship Center for Hope. The address is 6021 Maddox Road, uh, Morrow, Georgia, 30260. So if you guys want to join us this morning for Father's Day, you can do so. I will be there in the house, but most of the time I will be, you know, busy doing something. But if you guys want to join us, please do so. Or if not, join us online. It will be live, so thank God for that. I love you all. God loves you more. Have a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus. And again, happy Father's Day to all fathers. And be reminded that you need to be restored and reminded. God bless you all.